Today, Mongo, we're competing in a train build challenge. Trains are the coolest. Let's do it, Wudo. But be careful, guys, because at sunset, mutant zombies are gonna attack. Uh-oh, that's bad news. We better start building this train quickly. Axie, why don't you help me on this track over here? We're going to start by building the base of the train. Ooh, the base of the train. Can we make it out of a super cool block like dirt? I don't know if dirt would be the best idea, Axie, because it can crumble really easily. Look at Mongo's build. He's building with dirt, and it's not going to look as cool as our train because our train is going to be made out of diamonds. Wudo, my train is going to be way better than yours. I don't think so, Mongo. You heard what Wudo just said about dirt. Ours is all shiny, and yours is probably full of worms. Well, my one is already bigger, so just watch out, guys. Oh, Mongo thinks his is gonna be bigger? I think you forgot to understand that trains aren't just one car, silly. Trains have multiple cars, and we're going to build as many cars as we can with as many fancy blocks as we can. For example, I can make another golden one just like this. And it's already 10 times better than whatever Mongo has on his side. Wait, Wudo, why would you put a car on top of a train? Well, they're not actually cars, Axie. These little sections of the train are just called train cars. But now that I have the first one all built out, I think it's time for me to make this one the engine car, which is basically the one that controls all the movement of the train so that we can go really really fast and out of here once those mutant zombies come oh that sounds great Wudo. those mutant zombies will never catch up to our train exactly axie i'm gonna make sure to put as much power as i can into the engines to make sure it has no chance of getting to us Wudo, it doesn't matter how much power you put into your engine your train is gonna be super duper slow mongo i would be more concerned about your train. It looks like this thing could go in the water and sink the moment it touches it. What are you talking about, Wudo? I'm literally building my next train car out of wood. Wood? Okay, at least that's an improvement, Mongo, but you still need a little bit more building help because that wood can still get really messed up when your train goes fast. That is, if your train could even go fast in the the first place, right, Axie? Yeah, Wudo. Can I give this thing a face, though? Train should look alive. Well, Axie, I just finished putting lights on top of my train, but if you want to give it a fancier look, you can be my guest, because what I need to do on the inside is work on that engine that I was talking about. And luckily, all we need to do that is to grab some furnaces, and then I can place these along the left and right edge of the train. These engines are going to produce all the energy that we need to make this train run really fast. I'll just put them along the edges like this, and now it's talking business up in here. What I can also do is start putting the train controls. And luckily, unlike airplanes, trains are really easy to move. You just need a button to go forward and stop. See, it's not that complicated. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, Wudo. Can I drive the train? I promise I'll only hit, like, two things. I don't think I'd want you to hit anything, Axie. Remember, if you drive a train, you have to be really, really responsible because sometimes there really could be things on the track and the last thing that you want to do is accidentally hit something. Okay, I understand, Wudo. I'm gonna make a little slime up here, by the way. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I better go check on what Axie's building outside before she does something really bad. But let me just go ahead and fix all of these buttons like this. And you know what? I think my train's control room and its engines are pretty much all finished. And now I can close them all up. Knowing you, Wudo, you would probably crash your train the first time you ride it. What? 
What? No, I wouldn't, Mongo. What are you talking about? Look at how small your engine room is compared to mine anyways. I think mine looks way cooler, but wait. Axie, what is this green blob you built on top of my train? It's a slime woodle, obviously. Look, it even has little ears. Aw, that actually makes the train look pretty cool, Axie. We can leave the slime for now. At least my train has more personality than Mongo's dirt train. Come on, I think it's time that we start building the next car too. Luckily, what we can do is we can separate the cars with the sliding glass door, which is just like how they have it in real trains to make it so that you can go from this car to the next car and to the next one. Isn't that super sick, Axie? Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and slide the door all day. Wudo, if I were you, I would hurry up and build because right now you don't even have any seats on your train oh yeah you're right i really don't have any seats on my train yet come on axie i think that's what we should do in this next golden car and because we need seats i'm actually gonna expand it out like this so that we can pack as many seats as possible already on it woodle wait what axie these aren't the seats that i was talking about silly these are toilets toilets are gonna be really nasty for all of our passengers to sit on. Ew, there's toilets. Your train stinks, Woodo. But Woodo, imagine you're on the train and you really have to go poop and then you have to walk all the way to the bathroom. With toilet seats, you don't have to walk anywhere. You can just poop exactly where you're sitting. And I think that's super nasty, Axie. We need to make sure that the, uh, you know, waste doesn't sink up the entire train. So how about instead of having all these toilets over here, we instead make our own custom seats that will make sure that we'll always have the best view outside the train. For example, I just need to grab a lime green sofa like this and then what I can do is I can grab a bunch of lime green decorations that I would love to have in something like my bedroom and now that I have these I can go ahead and place the sofa right over here put these to the left and right and then what I can do is I can grab some black wool and a speaker and I can make a giant movie screen on the right side. So then I can sit and enjoy the view of what movies I want to watch and TV shows and especially what YouTube videos I want to watch. Okay, I have to admit that actually does look pretty cool. I know, right? And now we have a perfect view in... Um, Mongo, what are you doing? Is that TNT? Ew, Wudo, look. Your train is so stinky that there's fart particles everywhere. Hey, Mongo, why'd you do that? That is so messed up. I would never do that to your train. How does it feel to get pranked, Wudo? That's worse than a prank. <laughs> oh, gosh. It just smells like farts, Mongo. We better finish building this section fast, Axie, because I want to get my revenge on Mongo. Okay, we're going to crush him. And to do that, I'm going to make my own mini train. Wait, what? You're building your own train, Axie. Just make sure nothing happens to mine, okay? It'll be perfect. Don't worry, Wudo. All right, if you say so, I'm just going to start putting down our other sofas as well. I'll put down a pink one over here for Axie and then a red one for Mongo. And now I can just put nightstands between all of them so that we all have a nice, comfortable place to sit. And then I can put some carpets as well, like this green one and then a pink one and then a red one for each of our sections. Those seats look really comfy. It kind of makes me want to just sit down and not do any more work. Well, remember, Axie, those mutant zombies are coming at sunset. So if we don't build these trains fast, you're going to be their dinner. And that's what you're going to get for being lazy. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'll do work. Good job, Axie. And check out what I'm almost done with. This golden car is looking really, really fancy. I have golden windows a golden floor. I don't think Mongo's train even compares to how fancy my train is. Wudo, it doesn't matter how fancy your train looks. 
it still stinks so bad so i'm gonna hit it with some perfume take this Ooh, thanks mongo now my train is gonna smell really nice even i smell nice now well my train is gonna smell even better well why exactly would it smell better mongo the last time i checked you farted in your own train too yeah but my farts aren't stinky your farts are like nuclear bombs that is true, Moodle. Hey, what? Axie, how dare you say that about me? You know what? We need to get revenge on Mongo. Just like how he used a TNT on me, I think that I want to use a TNT on him. There's all these different options, but I'm sure he would get pretty upset if I use this icy TNT to freeze his train. And then I'll just say that things got a little bit cold. <laughs> My prank will be perfect. All I need to do is go to this boring dirt car over here, activate the TNT, and now, oh gosh, everything's getting really icy. Wait a second. Why is it so cold suddenly? Oh gosh. Um, I accidentally made everything snowy. Whoopsies. Wait, what? Wudo, what did you do? Um, I think I accidentally pressed the wrong button mongo but don't worry all i need to do is just type in this command and then everything will turn back to normal except now we have ice mountains that's pretty funny Voodoo, you just started the ultimate prank wars you better be ready to take the heat. Wait, what? Mongo wants to have a prank war with me? Fine, you can have a prank war, Mongo, but I just know that your pranks will never be as good as mine. I don't know about that, Wudo. Just don't cry to your mommy when I prank you so hard. Ha, <laughs> Mongo will never be able to prank me. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do right now is set up some sort of connecting system between my train and the other trains in my car and in order to do that i just need a little platform for me to stand on and go from train to train and in order to do that i just need a fancy trap door that i can use to get from train to train so that if we still want to connect each of these cars we can but this will ensure that we can safely move from each one to another one and as a matter of fact i think i want to move over to axes it's been a second since i I've seen her talk about anything, so that must mean her build is good, right? And just gotta put the last cake in, and there, my axolotl room is complete. Wow, Axie, your train car actually looks really cool. Even though it's the smallest one of the bunch, it's so cute with all your axolotl friends and, ooh, glow berries. You don't mind if I snack on one, do you? Hey! Don't snack on my glow berries. This is where I'm gonna come when I feel homesick on our train and I want to look at a bunch of cute axolotls. Aw, that's so cute, Axie. You see, now our train is automatically 10 times better than whatever Mongo's building. Look, each of his train cars looks like a different Minecraft biome. You have the sand one and then the stone one and then dirt. There's no way it even compares to how cool our one is axie Budo, what if i take out the sand at the bottom and replace it with quicksand wait what you wouldn't dare axie quicksand is so messed up i'm gonna do it okay okay fine just uh don't say that you did it okay i'll pretend like it was a mistake or something let's just go ahead and put a bunch of sandstone on these bottom floors just like this and now you can put that quicksand on top okay okay then he'll fall down and he'll be stuck and only his head will be poking out and i'll laugh at him exactly and we can bait him too how about we put some cake here so he goes for the cake and when he walks over here he's He's gonna cry for help <laughs> he's gonna cry like a little baby yeah la 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 i'm gonna continue building my train and wait a second is that cake let's go i love cake so much i'm gonna eat it and wait what am i falling 
<laughs> you fell for it, Mongo. We pranked you. No way. Mongo, are you in the quicksand now? Bro, I can't believe you'd fall for that. You're such a noob. Are you serious? You think you can prank me and get away with it? I'll check the gold car of your train if I were you. Good luck. Oh, what are you talking about? Quick, Axie. We better go look at my car and uh -huh. what is that? Why is there a bunch of FNAF in my train? I'm super scared of FNAF. I made a few calls and let's just say my friends are over there right now. Anymore. Don't worry, Axie. I have to say that Freddy and Foxy are actually some of the cooler animatronics. And it looks like they're just chilling in here. So you know what? We'll let them enjoy our VIP cinema car. Let's just make sure they uh, don't decide to come after us in the middle of the night, okay? Okay. How about we work on the next train car instead, Axie? Maybe we can take our mind off of all that scary stuff and build something really cool. I think we should build this next one out of iron blocks. So I got myself a bunch of iron and now I can build the platform that we'll be building on. You know what I think we should do on this one, Axie? I don't know. I think we should have weapons to fight Freddy. Wait, what? I don't want to fight freddy he's just vibing right now axie i think what we should do is we should turn this train car into a portable mcdonald's so that we can get food anytime we want wait that's actually a really good idea then i can have milkshakes for life exactly axie it's like going to a restaurant but it's on a train and i think that's super duper cool nobody else has ever built a restaurant on a train before so hopefully it works yeah that's super original right i hope so all i need to do is just put the mcdonald's colors which are golden and red on the outside and now look at this axie we have a golden and red train Oh, whoa, it's stripey. I know, it actually makes the design look pretty sick. And what I can even do is put red glass on the red side and then yellow glass on the golden side so it matches even more. I guess you could call this train the ketchup and mustard train. Get it? Because they look like they're together. Udo, you made it sound gross. Woodo, Axie is lying to you. The train looks horrendous. Wait, what? Axie, you're not lying to me, right? You think the train looks good, right? Um, ever since you said ketchup and mustard, it feels kind of gross, you know? Oh, gosh. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to call it that, Axie. But what we need to do now is work on the actual interior of the McDonald's. And we need a bunch of things in order for it to work. For example, we need a little shelf area that we can use for all the transactions. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a trap door, but not just any trap door. I want this to be a fancy McDonald's. So I'm going to get a fancy looking one to match that like quartz. And then what I can do is I can make the ordering side on this side so that you can talk to the cashier and get your food. Wudo, you're really going to do all that and get a fancy McDonald's. But at the end of the day you're just gonna be fat what you are literally making a coal train mongo i don't think you can diss us exactly mongo how dare you disrespect my mcdonald's i need my mcfries and my mcdouble because sometimes i get really hungry mongo what are you gonna feed your train passengers He's probably going to feed them dirt, Axie. My train passengers don't need food because my train is going to go so fast that it's going to arrive on time in two minutes. While Wudo's train is going to take 50 hours and he's going to eat all the food and he's going to go from Wudo to Fatto. Wait, what? That's not true, Mongo. That was really mean, too. How dare you call me that? Sorry, Wudo, but it's the truth. 
It's okay, Woodle. We just have to destroy him in the field challenge. You're right, Axie. Look what I did over here. I added a little cashier area, and then I added a cooking area over here, too. And then what we can do on this side is we can add some tables where all of our train passengers that are eating McDonald's can sit down and enjoy their food. And right now, I'm going to sit down and enjoy a chocolate milkshake. Oh. Aw, you like chocolate milkshakes, Axie? I think chocolate milkshakes are pretty tasty, too. I bet mangoes are going to be made out of mud, though. Ew! Gross! Woodo, we don't serve chocolate milkshakes at our train. We serve vegetables so we can be healthy. What? Vegetables? I mean, vegetables are pretty healthy, but at the same time, I want to enjoy myself sometimes, and I want to get a sweet treat. So you know what, Axie? We're going to have way better food than whatever Mongo's preparing. Check this out. I'm going to put down the hamburgers and the hot dogs that you can get from McDonald's. Can I eat them right now? Um. No, silly. You need to pay for them. What? But I help build this train. Shouldn't I get them for free? Okay, fine, Axie. You can have one hamburger, but don't forget about our guests, okay? When they come on this train, they're going to get really hungry. So what I think you should do is help me build the roof instead, and then I can work on our next train car, which I think could look even cooler than the other three. Wudo, we're missing something really important on this train. Train. Wait, really? What could we be missing? We already have so much, Axie. Well, right after you eat McDonald's, you're gonna have to take a really fat poop, but there's nowhere to do it. Oh, gosh, you're right, Axie. How could I have forgotten? We're gonna have to take a massive doo-doo once we're on this train, and if I have no place to do it, the only place you'll be able to is to position your bum on the other track and do it on my trade. <laughs> that might not be a bad idea, actually. Ew, Wudo, what are you saying? Sorry, Mongo, it's just the truth. I mean, your train doesn't look too much different from it anyways. <laughs> That's so messed up, and here you were talking about being mean. Oh, gosh, Mongo, I was just joking, silly. No, that joke is way too far. Okay, you know what, Axie? We we need to build this toilet car in commemoration of Mongo. I guess I was being kind of mean to him. So let's give him a toilet to cry on. Hee <laughs> hee. Woodo. Hang on, Woodo. I have an even better decoration. Just give me one moment. Oh, really? I hope it's something super duper fancy for our toilet guest, Saxy. While you're taking a poop, you can look at Mongo's head. Ooh, that's gonna actually help you poop so hard, Axie. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want to poop when they look at Mongo? Hee! <laughs> How do you feel about that, Mongo, huh? What in the world am I even hearing right now? You guys really have my head in a bathroom? What the heck? Yep, it's okay, Mongo. At least if you don't want to look at your head, you can look outside in these little privacy windows. And then after all that's done, I should probably put down a sink as well so that all of our guests on the train can wash their hands. So that all of the guests on the train can wash their hands hands. It would be really, really nasty if they didn't. Right, Axie? Wait, are you supposed to wash your hands after going to the bathroom? Of course you have to, Axie. Don't tell me that you haven't been. Um, I'm gonna go now. Bye! Wait, what? Hey, Woodo, I haven't been washing my hands, so Axie, you're fine. Ew, are you serious? Oh, gosh, Mongo, this is bad. You know what? Your train needs to be locked from all mankind in that case. Who knows the last time you had clean hands? So maybe what you need instead is a little bit of punishment. How about I put down some water and invite my sharky friend check it out it's a great white shark and my 
on, girl. I think he wants to eat you and your dirty hands. Oh, gosh, don't eat me, Mr. Shark. And wait, what? He's friends with me, Wudo. I'm just going to grab him and take him over to wherever Axie is. She's probably going to freak out. Hey, stop it, Mongo. The only reason why he wasn't interested is probably because he saw you have dirty hands. Grr, Axie. Oh my gosh, is a little fishy. Hello, little fishy. Wait, what? Are you serious? That is the lamest reaction. I'm going back to building my train. Wudo, we have to make a home for this fish. <laughs> Axie, that's not a fish, silly. That's a shark. Maybe you should make him a nice pool on top of your carriage while I finish building the toilet one. Wudo, this is not a shark. It's just a large fish. I guess it is technically a large large fish axie but still make sure that he has a nice home okay because i still have to do one thing in my train and this toilet carriage and that is adding some air vents just in case things get a little bit stinky in here, you'll be able to breathe some fresh air. Wait, I don't mind the smell of bathrooms, Wudo. It's all natural. Oh, gosh, Axie. Well, I do, and I'm sure a lot of our train guests would definitely mind the stinky smell, especially if Mongo tries to use our bathroom. So let's just make sure we have that. And that basically completes our toilet car, Axie. Isn't that sick? It is pretty cool. I can't wait to win this build challenge. Ooh, your pool on top of your train car also looks pretty sick, Axie. What we could even do is add glass on the outside so that anyone below could see the shark. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Uh, I don't know where the shark went, though. Oh, no. Did our shark disappear? Don't worry, Axie. I'll just spawn in another one. There we go. And now he has a nice home on top of our train. What should we name him, Wudo? Ooh, a name. I haven't thought about that yet, Axie. Do you have a name idea for it? Mm, I can't think yet. What about Sushi? Wait, what? We don't want to name him Sushi, silly. Because I don't want him to turn into Sushi. What we should instead name him is Sharky. Just like how you're named Axie because you're an Axolotl. That makes sense. Okay, let me just name him now so he doesn't go away again. Awesome. Now check out how cool our train is, Axie. Mongo's train doesn't even compare to how cool ours is. And I think we need something to prepare ourselves in case Mongo gets a little bit too rowdy. What does that mean? Are we going to have a gym or a big hamster wheel that Mongo can exercise on? Well, we're going to have more than just that, Axie. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, desperate times have called for desperate measures, and we need to build a weapons car with all the most secure weapons and dangerous weapons as possible so that we can destroy Mongo and the mutant zombies, but mainly Mongo, in case he tries to pull any funny business on us again. Wudo, are you just building a weapons room? You know I've built that like 10 years ago, right? Wait, what? You did? Why would you build a weapons room, Mongo? I didn't even want to fight you in the first place. So I can take you, Axie, and the mutant zombie down all for once. Oh, gosh. Axie, are you hearing this? Mongo sounds really scary. I think what we need to do is add some reinforced glass on this car just to make sure that Mongo can't get inside and take our technology. Don't worry. Mongo can't do anything. Look, he has another wood car. Oh, yeah, you're right. That would be pretty easy to take down, Axie. But still, we want to be careful wherever we can. So what I think we should do is put some tinted glass windows that are also reinforced like this. So they're blast proof and we can still see through it. But Manga won't be able to see from the outside. That's why the glass is tinted. Oh, I thought the glass was just tinted because people made a mistake while making it. Glass is supposed to be see-through. Well, it is, Axie, but you don't always want it to be see-through, especially if you're trying to hide stuff from your enemies. Then why would you use glass at all, Wudo, instead of something like dirt? Because unfortunately, Axie, dirt is a lot less strong than these glass windows are, so we're just gonna keep the glass. 
And now that we have that all done, we can go inside and start picking out our weapons and armor. Oh, I have the perfect armor. You do? What could that be? Hopefully, it's nothing stinky like Mongo's armor that we saw. Right, Mongo? Wait, what? My armor wasn't stinky, Wudo. Oh, it was stinky, all right. And I think some way cooler armor would be something like this. Check out my samurai armor, Axie. Check out my samurai armor. Hold on a second. That doesn't look like samurai armor. That looks more like a cardboard box. Do we need to ship you somewhere, Axie? Look how cool I look. My head's in the box. Oh, wait. That actually does look kind of sick. Are you a ninja now? Yes. And for my next special ninja power, I will disappear. Don't look at me. Oh, Axie just disappeared. Wow. I can't believe it. She's a magician. Magician! <laughs> Axie's so silly. I heard that! Oh, wait. I thought you disappeared, Axie. What happened? Um, I, I disappeared, but I'm still here because I'm a ninja. Oh, gosh. You know what? How about instead of being a ninja, you help me choose some ninja weapons that we could use? For example, my favorite weapon is a bazooka that I can use to shoot out missiles like this. And maybe I should shoot one at Mongo's base. <laughs> yeah, you think a bazooka scary woodo? Take this spoon. What, Axie? You're gonna try and fight those mutant zombies with a spoon? A spoon is gonna be useless. Okay, I'll get something more useful. Maybe a spatula. A spatula? That's even worse, Axie. If you fight with a spatula, the mutant zombies are gonna think that you're just trying to prepare your lunch. Except you're gonna be their lunch, silly. No, that doesn't sound true. Look, it's even made of metal, so when I bonk them on the head, they'll definitely fall unconscious. Okay, fine, Axie. I guess you can have that, but I'm going to have a katana instead. Check out this sword. Doesn't it look super cool like a true ninja? Just don't point that at me because this car is pretty small and that katana is really scary. Yeah, you are right, Axie, but I think an even cooler weapon is this meat shredder. Get over here. You're going to get shredded. <laughs> Let's go see if Mongo would be scared of my meat shredder. Oh, Mongo. <gasps> Wait, look. He's trying to get his weapons now. Let's drop in and spook him. Oh, hello, Mongo. Get ready to be shredded. Ah, take this, Wudo. Wait, what? Mongo, you just blew up your own train car. What are you doing? Oh, gosh, that's not good. Look what you made me do. Haha, <laughs> Mongo. Get pranked! Wasn't that so funny, Axie? I think he pooped his pants. I hope he has a bathroom car. Oh, yeah, he definitely pooped his pants. And I can definitely tell you right now that he totally doesn't have a bathroom car, Axie. I can smell his doo-doo all the way from here. Ew! Gross! But, Ludo, what are we gonna put in our train next? Well, I just had to put down the last weapon, which is a hammer. And now that that's all done, Axie, I think there's still one more thing I want to put inside of our training area over here. And I'm going to put it right smack in the middle of everything so that it's a constant reminder that we need to train for any threats. Check it out. They're boxing bags and you can actually box them, Axie. Hold on, let me just get some boxing gloves too. And now, check this out. I'm a pro boxer. Isn't this sick? Wait, wait, let me get my gloves as well so I can box you, Wudo. Huh? You're gonna box me, Axie? I don't know if that's the best idea. Fight me, fight me. Hiya! Take this, Axie. Hiya! Hiya! I don't think anything's happening. These gloves are way too soft. Or maybe, Axie, that's a 
sign. Have you even taken a look outside yet? All that time that we were building this train car has led to sunset, which means those mutant zombies are coming soon. I think what we should do is we should go see what Mongo's build is up to. But right before we do that, I just want to add some red lights to the back of our train car just to make sure that the other trains know where this train stops. That way they won't bump into it. But come on, let's go see Mongo's build. Oh, hello, Mongo. It's sunset, which means those mutant zombies will come if you don't show us your train. Wait, what? Hurry up and check out my train then, Wudo. All right, let's walk inside, Axie. Yuck, you don't even have a door to get in. This train is so small. Wudo, we don't have a door either. Shh, don't tell him. Back here is my control room where you can control the entire train. Interesting, Mongo. You copied my control. I had a lever in the middle, too. Wudo, you can't copy something that's very universal. Come over here. This is where the seats of my train are. Oh, interesting. You got some nice wooden seats, Mongo. Though I do think my butt would hurt a bit on these. Wudo, it doesn't matter if your butt is going to hurt. Maybe you should purchase some first class seats where there's beds. First class? This is more like third class, Mongo. Who wants to sit on these beds? Exactly. It looks like the sheets haven't been washed for like 45 years. Why do they look like that? Are you serious, Wudo? These are fancy beds, okay? Follow me over to the next room where the weapons are. Ooh, Mongo finally has some weapons, but honestly, these look pretty normal. It doesn't compare to my katana. Right, Axie? Yeah, and my spatula. Wudo, your katana won't stand a chance against my nether catalyst sword. Oh, yeah? Well, then how about I grab my katana right now and we fight it out right in the middle of this train car. Are you ready? Wudo, we don't have time to fight. The mutant's not Zombie is going to appear. So let me show you my final room, the shopping cart room. If things go wrong, I plan on getting on the shopping cart and escaping. Uh, Mongo, doesn't that mean that your train is slower than the shopping cart and that's why you need it here? No, Wudo, that's just in case. All right, well, you know what? This shopping cart is good for only one thing, and that is escaping Mongo's train to come to Wudo and Axie's train. Right, Axie? Yeah, come look at our train. It's way better. Hey, my shopping cart. Oh, come on, Mongo. You don't don't need your silly shopping cart anymore. How about you just walk the diamond blocks right inside of my beautiful train? As you can see, this is the first car, which is where we control the train and where we have the super powerful engines that make my train go way faster than your puny one. Wudo, you don't even have doors to your train. Oh, okay. I can fix that in two seconds. Let me just get these doors and voila now we have doors okay you just added them which is not fair anyways these train controls look a little goofy so i'm gonna move on to the next room and <gasps> wait a second fnaf they're here oh yeah those were from your prank earlier mongo but now it's time for us to enjoy this room this is the cinema room where you can sit down on your reclining sofa and watch our videos Oh, gosh, Wudo, I have to admit, this TV is actually really cool. And look, I even gave Axie the biggest seat in the house. You're welcome, Axie. You forgot to move it up close, though. That's better. Wait, what? You're gonna fry your eyeballs if you move that close, Axie. Come on, Mongo. How about I take you to the next car? Axie designed this car herself. Wait, what in the world is this one? It seems pretty useless to me. It's not useless. You can sit here and think about nice things in life. And on the top, we have our fish friend. Yeah, we can't forget about Sharky. He's actually the one protecting this train, Mongo. Hopefully, he doesn't splish splash too much once the train moves. Oh, gosh, guys. I'm afraid Sharky is probably going to jump out of the train as soon as it starts moving. 
you won't, Mongo. What are you talking about? How about I just stuff your face with some glowberry so you don't need to say those mean things anymore? Okay, Wudo. Come on, Mongo. How about I take you to the next train car, which is our McDonald's? Wudo, I thought you were just feeding me glowberries. Why in the world would I need McDonald's? Because the glowberries were just a snack to make you stop talking mean things about our sharky pet. Instead, you can have a full meal here at McDonald's. What would you like to order today, sir? Um, can I get one backflip, please? That's not a real food. Pay up. You know what? I'm just going to charge him 500 diamonds, and now you owe me 500 diamonds. Wait, what? I don't have 500 diamonds. All I have is just one stone block. Oh, really, Mongo? Well, you can take your stone block back, and what we're going to do is jail you inside the toilet car. Ha, ha, ha. Check this place out. Oh, Wudo, I actually needed to take a poop, so thank you. Oh, gosh, Axie, get out! Oh, that was close. We sealed off the door. Ah, oh, gosh, that was the biggest one yet. Well, good thing I added the vents on the side of our toilet car so that there's fresh air coming in. Come on, Mongo. Let's take you out the bathroom before you suffocate in there. And how about I take you to our last train car, which is our weapons room that we're going to pick out our weapons and then fight those mutant zombies. Whoa, Wudo. I have to say, you do have a pretty cool arrangement of weapons. Those mutant zombies don't stand a chance. Spatula! Axie, are you sure about using that spatula? Um, guys, wait a second. I just looked out the window, and I think the mutant zombies are attacking our train. Quick, we need to go and fight them right now. Are you guys ready? Let's attack them. Get them! Let's go! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then watch another video on screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.